this video you will learn the basics for quantum computing how to use a quantum computing framework and how to test your code on a quantum simulator by the end of this tutorial you will be able to understand the basics of quantum computing use a quantum computing framework to design and build quantum circuits and also uh, test your quantum computing code on a quantum simulator this video is perfect for beginners who are interested in learning more about quantum computing and how to use Python to develop quantum applications. To start and test your quantum computing applications on a simulator, first install Qs Kids Air library, Python library. To install this, you can use pip install Qs Kids Python. Yeah. Here is this kit. They are, and it's going to install this uh, library on your laptop. Then, once you install that library, then you can start importing the module or library or the framework in your Python script using import kills kids library. Okay, next is say create a quantum circuit with two qubits. You can define a circuit by creating two qubits uh, using kills kids dot quantum circuits and pass two, this is a two qubits uh, quantum circuit. Okay, then the next is apply a Hadamard guard to the first qubit. That is the first qubit is uh, at index zero. That's just uh, use circuit dot h uh, and pass zero to that to apply a Hadamard guard to the first qubit. And the next is create a classical registers and allocate classical bits. In this case, you can uh, uh, create a classical registers, allocate the classical bits. It is two bit and name it C that is a classical qubit. And once you register classical register with, by allocating the classical bits, you can add a register to the circuit. Okay, so the next stage measure the qubits and store the measurement results uh, in the classical bits. In the classical bits, so it's a good dot measure. You can you always the states are zeros and ones in this case, so zeros and ones and the classical registers here. Classical register at index zero and at index one. At index zero is zero. At index one is one. So now it's going to measure the circuits at uh, classical bits. And uh, the next is simulate the circuit. Simulator dot uh, kit uh, dot air dot get backing. You can use CASM simulator in the, in, as a backing. And it's going to just execute the circuits function here defined and the simulator here that's going to simulate the circuit and it's going to just return the result as a result method. And you can obtain the uh, number of counters, how many number of circuits that uh, measures in the zeros and ones states, and it gets the measurement results by calling uh, result.getCounts. Finally, you can print out the uh, counters to see the output. So in this case, you are, if you are uh, using different uh, computing framework, you should uh, consult the documentation for that framework to learn uh, how to install and how to uh, define uh, your first uh, circuits uh, or quantum application with Python. So this is your first quantum application or script uh, to simulate a quantum computing on uh, your laptop using Python. And uh, once you have installed your simulator and you can test it by running this code, uh, by writing any text editors uh, or script writing 
editors, especially uh, you can use Visual Code Editor to edit it. It is normal uh, Python script. If you know Python, it is easy for you. And you can define the functions and the circuits and qubits, and it's going to measure the, the states. So this code will simulate the quantum uh, circuit and print the probabilities of uh, measuring the first qubit in the state of zero and one. Then if you are able to run this code without any errors, the simulator has been successfully installed. And let me show you by running this code. I can use this to run. So it's just printed out the result of the dictionary. And it's important to note that uh, uh, simulators are not as powerful as real quantum computers, but quantum simulators cannot simulate large quantum circuits, and they, are, they may not uh, accurately simulate the behavior of the real quantum computers. However, quantum simulators can be useful for testing and debating uh, quantum computing applications. So this is very useful to get, test your first quantum computing, and also you can uh, debug any errors uh, in quantum computing applications before running in a real uh, quantum computer. If you're interested in debugging, uh, developing quantum computing applications, I encourage you to start by testing your application in a quantum simulator like QSCIR. Kids uh, air simulator or any uh, surf simulator. And uh, once you have tested your applications and you are confident that they are working correctly, you can then uh, consider running them on a real quantum computer. Okay. As you can see here, this, this is the, the outputs that represented the measurement result of a quantum circuit. So each key in the dictionary presents possible outcomes. That is a bit string, and the corresponding value represents the number of times that outcome was measured in a quantum circuit. For example, in your case, uh, uh, zero zero measures five zero five uh, times, and zero one measures five one nine times. So this result is indicate that when you run your quantum circuit with the given code, it produces a superposition of the states. And when measured, it results in approximately equal occurrences of both 0, 0 and 0, 1 states due to the Hadamard gas applied to the first qubit. The actual counts may vary slightly due to the probabilistic nature of quantum measurements in a simulator or real quantum hardware. So this is your first uh, quantum computing applications that run that measures the circuits uh, by running your first application or your laptop using uh, quantum computing simulators in Python. So I hope. Uh, you enjoyed in this video. Don't forget to like and share. Thanks for watching.